Hello, I'm Matt and today I will be showing you how to install the Minecraft DayZ mod. It's pretty self-explanatory as there is a automatic installer for the mod, but I will show it. Any I will make this video anyway for anyone who is new to modding Minecraft. So to begin with, open up your Minecraft and options, force update, done, log in. So what this does is that it, if you have had any previous mods in your minecraft.jar it will completely get rid of them all and also if you have had any previous mods with mod loader if you go into your .minecraft there will still be the mods folder afterwards. This mod does not require mod loader but it is still better just to delete that mod folder just to make sure there is nothing conflicting with it and also all your old configs you may as well delete them as well because you will not be using them. So I have just in a second and there. So that's it updated. Right, so now if I just close this and then if I my documents I'm doing this on Microsoft Windows XP. If you're on Windows 7 there will be a little search bar down here on your start menu if I remember correctly and type into it percent app data percent and then just enter and it will bring you to this application data folder go into your dot minecraft this mod also requires forge for it to work so go into your bin minecraft.jar and open with winrar or 7zip depending on what you have delete your meta inf As you can see behind me, I have the Forge page open. I have downloaded the Universal um, one because I looked at the one earlier and this is the one I know how to install personally, so I will use this one. So just control A to select all the files in your Minecraft, no, in your Forge and just drag and drop them into your .minecraft folder. Okay, so just replace and insert the files, just generally what the default one is. And then close the Minecraft jar, minimize your bin folder, and open Minecraft again. Right, just log in this time, don't need to force update. Yeah. And this is Forge doing stuff at the side, which shows that it's been installed correctly. There. So it says I have Forge. Apparently, I have two mods that are active. Alright, oh, it's just Forge. So it, that shows that I have the Forge mod loader, which comes in Minecraft for in the Forge and Minecraft Forge as well. So I can just quit game now and go into here and open up the installer, which is not in the right place. There, installer. Right, um, I want to back up. Yes, and install. We couldn't detect. Yes. Right, it was successful and log in. There. So as you can remember last time it said there was two mods loaded, this time there is three. If I go into here, Daisy. An unknown infection has wiped out most of the world's population. Go solo or team up with friends to take on the world as you choose your path in this brutal and chilling landscape. 
using whatever means you stumble upon to survive. And then I'm pretty sure in here there should be there. World type Daisy. So you can go creative Daisy if you want to, but obviously I will not be, and I will be showing you some gameplay of it later on. So I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have fun playing this mod yourself.